Honey Gun's hour-long studio amp session is still on rotation on PBS. I had to come out here to the beach to see what they're all about. Honey Gun doesn't so much fit into one genre, it's more classified as kind of experiment. All of us got together and said, what can we do? So we have some rock elements, we have elements of, of some progressive styles of rock, uh, we have some, some jazz influence, I know jazz is kind of a buzzword in the musician world, but uh, we're not jazz. We have uh, a lot of different elements coming together from the harder rock styles to alternative to the classic rock. Um, all of us in the band have bring different influences to our sound, so when we're writing, you never really know what's going to come out. Uh, it's one of the joys of being in this band is, is it never gets boring. There's always something new going on, always something fresh. Well, we kind of chose the name because uh, we all like it and it doesn't really mean anything in particular. Uh, it's kind of you know something nice and something aggressive and uh, it's something we can relate to both musically and personally. All we really want from Honey Gun is to be able to play our music, you know, and to be able to afford to, to be able to create and perform our music for people, you know. Uh, we want to see how far we can take this. Honey Gun is scheduled to play at Sluggo's Vegetarian Restaurant, Bar, and Venue on Saturday, April the 5th. I know that I'm going to get there pretty early. I'm Sarah Richards reporting for Argo News.